Hello, third graders. Earlier today, we read The Legend of Spookly the Square Pumpkin. Now we are going to take a look at this farmer and his pumpkin patch. Yikes! There's no round pumpkins! One evening, a pumpkin farmer went to visit his pumpkin patch. Something strange had happened. All of his pumpkins were not their usual shape. His entire pumpkin patch was full of square and rectangular pumpkins. Help the farmer find out how much area his pumpkins cover in his pumpkin patch. Remember that all of his pumpkins must fit inside his pumpkin farm. Have fun! Inside your packet, that will be the front cover is the story there and then if you turn the page you're going to see either option one or option two if you have option one you can see a list of all of the pumpkin farmers pumpkins over on the left hand side and then you can see the equation on how big that pumpkin needs to be so pumpkin a for option one needs to be two by four two boxes down four boxes across. I know two times four equals eight. So that pumpkin has to have an area of eight. If your packet has an option two, your page will look like this. Again, you'll see all of your pumpkins, um, pumpkin A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but you do not know what that pumpkin is going to look like you do know how much space the pumpkin is taking up. So for this option, pumpkin A needs to be um, 12. It needs to have an area of 12. You create the equation. What times what equals 12? Then what you'll do when you have all of your equations filled out, you have all of your areas, then you'll move on to your pumpkin patch. This is the farmer's pumpkin patch here. Okay, All of your pumpkins must fit inside of the pumpkin patch. I used option A, um, option one, pumpkin A. I knew that this pumpkin needed to be two by four to make an area of eight. Your first number is how many down? Your second number, how many across? One, two, one, two, three, four. Two times four is eight. I labeled my pumpkin and I wrote the equation. After I did that, I added a little detail. I added a face to my pumpkin, I added a stem, some leaves, and even a little vine. Once you have all of your pumpkins, um, put into your pumpkin patch, then you can add more details. Maybe you can add a scarecrow. Maybe you can add a fence. That's when you can be creative and make your project look very nice. Please take your time. We have today, tomorrow, and Friday to finish this. Um, we will be hanging these up, so do your best work and have fun.